What's up guys, Jax here with Bullpen Training. We just got our Cat X's in. A lot of you guys have been asking for the comparisons. These are both U-Trip Drop 5 bats. We have the Cat X composite, two-piece composite, and the Drop 5 one-piece alloy. So we're gonna be putting these two bats against each other. Reminder that the one-piece alloy does not need any breaking in. This should be at its full potential, while the two-piece composite does need some breaking in to be at its full potential. First, let's unwrap these things, see what they look like, and then we'll get into some swings. So this is the Cat X composite. Smooth pull right there. Got the silver and red. Looks really nice. Now we got the one piece alloy here. Not as smooth as a pull. Now this is the white and red. Got a little bit of gray in there. These are two really good looking bats. So these are two really good looking bats. I definitely like the silver and the red with the red connector piece. So I would go with the composite with the looks. All right, first things with the one piece alloy Cat X. Let's go. 76.3, first swing. All right. Loud, loud, loud. Wow, good barrel, 78. This definitely feels a lot lighter than the composite and feels better when you barrel it up. 79, nice little oppo shot. Pretty good barrel there. Nice little one hop, 259. Good little oppo shot, 248. There's an 80, 80.0. Oh wow, that was 80. I did not square that ball up. All right, first swing's the Murchie Cat X composite. That was a good barrel, 79. All right, 80, there's a one hopper right there, 80.3, 25 launch angle. 82, all right. 82.9. 80.6, one hop, 270. Off the wall. 292, 82.8. Oh yeah, 84. Might be able to break my PR. All right, so my drop five PR right now is at 85.2 and that's with a broken in composite bat. Let's see if we can beat that. Uh, 81.3. Uh, 83.2, that was just about perfect, perfect. Jammed. Probably about 265 around there. 269. Errors in 80. 278. 82.7. 81. 83.8, all right. Oh. Woo! 84.7, baby, let's go. All right, so we just finished swinging both of these bats. The Cat X composite really surprised me. Getting 84.7 right out of the wrapper for a composite bat. And the Alloy One Piece just got an 80 flat. For both of these bats, I thought they were gonna be a little bit closer just since the composite, you have to break it in for a little bit. So for the swing weight of these, the Cat X composite is definitely a little bit heavier than the One Piece Alloy. The One Piece Alloy feels really good swinging it and very good when you barrel it up. Definitely a little bit better than the composite. For the sweet spot, the composite definitely gives you a little more exhibital off the hands and off the end with a little bit less of vibration than the Cat X One Piece. So if you're looking for a bat to get out hands down, get the Cat X composite over the Cat X One Piece because the Cat X composite had over a four and a half mile an hour difference right out of the wrapper being a composite bat. So you know it's only gonna get hotter from this. Hopefully this review helped you out. Always a big shout out to Headbanger Sports for gonna step with all these bats to review for you guys. Comment down below with any questions. And the ultimate Drop 5 View Trip Showdown coming next week. 
Cat 9 composite versus the Cat X composite. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.